Just a few years ago, hydrogen and battery electric vehicles were both being touted as the future of the automobile industry. Experts were split on which one would emerge victorious and save us all from our dependency on fossil fuels. Now, it's almost 2020, and electric vehicles are winning the race. But the question we have to ask is, whatever happened to hydrogen cars? You're watching The Deets, a show where we demystify the technologies that are shaping the future. I'm your host, Riley Wynn. No, it's a car. Only you put water in the gas tank instead of gas. <laughs> and it runs on water, man! <laughs> There's no doubt, hydrogen has a lot of promise. It's a clean fuel with no harmful tailpipe emissions. Hydrogen vehicles are basically electric cars with a fuel tank. They have the performance and instant torque of battery electric cars, while providing greater range than any fully electric vehicle on the road today. Refueling times are comparable to gasoline cars, so you can forget about range anxiety and lengthy charging stops. Lastly, hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. So unlike gasoline, we shouldn't run out anytime soon. The hydrogen haters would point out that fuel cell tanks can explode in an accident, that the fueling infrastructure isn't there, and that the tech is unproven. And to be honest, they're right. But all of those drawbacks are roughly the same with gasoline, diesel, pure grain alcohol, steam, and even battery electric cars. Every fuel source has its own shortcomings, and hydrogens aren't much worse than its competitors. Fueling stations can be built in anticipation of future demand, which is what we're doing with EV charging stations right now. Fuel cells can be made safer. The technology can be proven and improved, just like with any other machine that has widespread use. The thing that's actually holding hydrogen back is rarely discussed because it's not as headline grabbing as exploding fuel tanks or life cycle carbon emissions. The limiting factor here is money. Specifically the money belonging to people behind the wheel like you and me. At the moment, both fuel cell and battery electric vehicles are more expensive than their internal combustion counterparts, even taking local and federal government incentives into account. At every level of the market, you can get a larger and nicer car for the same price as an EV or hydrogen car. Consumers are willing to swallow this bitter pill in the case of battery electric cars because although the initial purchase price is higher, the monthly savings on gasoline tilt the math in the favor of the consumer. Add that with a warm feeling that you're saving the world and you have the makings of a rational purchase decision. However, hydrogen doesn't save you money like electric cars do. Fuel cell vehicles themselves are more expensive to purchase new, and the fuel itself costs about $14 per kilogram, which basically translates to paying $5.60 for a gallon of gasoline. Currently, there are only three hydrogen cars available on the market. The Toyota Mirai, the Honda Clarity, and the Hyundai Nexo. All three of these cars offer three years worth of fuel for free. This is obviously not a scalable solution, and once the credits dry up, people may be more interested in protecting their wallets than the planet. If hydrogen is ever going to compete, the fuel will have to be drastically cheaper than gasoline. This can happen either through improving the way we harvest hydrogen, or if gasoline drastically rises in price. Neither of these scenarios are that outlandish. Technology is always improving, and the economics of oil are always changing. So hydrogen cars could naturally become mainstream. But for the immediate future, battery electric cars appear to be our immediate future. Some sort of fuel cell hybrid could plug the gap for long trips in EVs, and full hydrogen could enable EV semi-trucks for cross-country hauling. Manufacturers haven't completely put the brakes on hydrogen cars, but unless the cost of fuel cells drops, they will remain a very promising technology that could have helped save our planet, but instead went nowhere. Would you buy a hydrogen car? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Riley Wynn with Digital Trends, and thanks for watching.